I've changed once before, I can do it again. <laughs> You've never changed. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most satisfying breakups in TV shows. You're the man I want to want. If you have chemistry, you only need one other thing. What's that? Timing. You are my queen. No. And always. For this list, we'll be looking at those times that we were glad to see TV couples end. Did we miss a particularly satisfying breakup? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Dan Humphrey and Blair Waldorf Gossip Girl There are arguments on both sides of this pairing. They did oddly have a lot in common, but really they just felt like a filler couple. Since we have nothing in common and are in fact opposites. The kind of opposites you do not attract. Most definitely not. This was just about the last combination of the main characters that we hadn't seen together yet. It was kind of fun to see their hatred for each other develop into something more. Though I suppose if you're trying to improve your mood that my coming with you would defeat that purpose. It is pretty funny. Even you couldn't kill that much comedy. But I still require you to sit two seats away. They had common interests in culture and had a way of always showing up for each other. But if we're all being honest with ourselves, whether or not you liked Dan and Blair together, we all knew that Chuck was the guy she would end up with. Even Nate couldn't compete. You should deal with your father. He needs you. You know what? I don't. So when she left Dan, it was really like everything falling back into its rightful place. That you chose Chuck, I, I don't I don't like, but I begrudgingly accept. Number nine, Ted Mosby and Robin Shabatsky. How I Met Your Mother. Ted said it himself, they had an expiration date. There's no denying that Ted and Robin had a lot of chemistry. If you have chemistry, you only need one other thing. What's that? Timing. They were good for each other for a while, but it was shown time and time again that they simply weren't right for each other. What the hell was what? That reaction. <laughs> I thought you were proposing to me. Really? Because it sounded like you thought I was trying to set you on fire. Ted, you know how I feel about marriage. Now more than ever. They wanted different things out of life, and they disagreed on a lot of major issues. So where does that leave us? Well... We could stay together and pretend this stuff doesn't matter. Or we could give back the blue French horn. Though they obviously did love each other while they were together, it was very obvious that in the long run they wouldn't have worked. It was best that they ended while they could still be friends. Let's just ignore the finale, shall we? Number 8. Stephen Carson and Carly Shay. iCarly. Many of the breakups on this list consist of people who just weren't a good fit relationship wise, but the destruction of this relationship is one we take particular joy in. He thought he was gonna get a kiss from a pretty girl, but instead, I blew a trumpet in his face! Ha! When Carly started dating Steve, it seemed like sustaining a long term relationship might be tricky, with Steve having to split his time between Seattle and Hollywood as a result of his parents' divorce but he is initially sweet and charming enough to make it worth the effort. Until Carly discovers that Steve is also dating Tori Vega from Victorious. What do you mean I'm in love with your boyfriend? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm in love with your boyfriend, so we're kinda even. <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Are we talking about my Steven? Your Steven, my Steven. He's been a busy boy. So they do the logical thing team up to humiliate him live on iCarly and dump him for the whole world to see. Steve, Steven used to have two girlfriends at the same time. Me and her. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's a cheater. And a liar. And it was glorious. Number seven, Rumpel and Belle. Once upon a time. Oh man, this one was a long time coming. I I've changed once before, I can do it again. <laughs> You've never changed. It takes a strong woman to see the man in the monster, but watching Belle forgive Rumpel again and again was beginning to become tiresome. It's quite simple, really. 
my power means more to me than you. Rumpel finally goes way too far though, and Belle is left with no choice but to banish him from Storybrooke. When she finally casts him out, we see a whole other kind of strength in her, and it is nothing short of totally badass. I try to be everything for you, Rumpel, but I wasn't, and I, I lost my way trying to help you find yourself. Not anymore. This moment was as unexpected as it was amazing. To see Belle finally draw the line on Rumpel's behaviour and stand up for herself and her friends was simultaneously heartbreaking and triumphant. Number 6. Preston Burke and Christina Yang – Grey's Anatomy Preston Burke may have been a great doctor, but he was a terrible boyfriend. He said it himself that he never really loved Christina for who she was, but instead tried to form her into the person he thought that she should be. And if I loved you, if I loved you, not the woman that I'm trying to make you be, not the woman that I hope you'll become, but you, if I did, I wouldn't be up there waiting for you. Christina deserved better than that. Breaking up with her on their wedding day and then leaving her to deal with the wreckage on her own was a crappy way to end things. That said, it was sure better than the unhappy life Christina would have had if they had gone through with the marriage. I can do this. You know, I had a momentary freak out, but now I'm fine. I can do this. But you don't want to do this. I'm up there waiting for you to come down the aisle. And I know you don't want to come. Unfortunately, Christina moved on with another jerk. Owen Hunt was never good enough for her, which he proved when he cheated. I wish it were different, though. No. no. I'm sorry. Christina. Owen. It already happened. Number 5. Roy Anderson and Pam Beasley – The Office Roy was awful to Pam. I can't really explain it. I just had to get out of that relationship. He belittled her, he never listened to her, he was completely insensitive to her feelings, he was violent, need we go on? And besides, she and Jim belonged together anyway. Part of what was so great about when Pam called off their wedding wasn't just that she got out of a bad relationship, but it marked the moment when Pam finally started sticking up for herself. Don't yell. Don't yell? This is over. It opened up a new side to her character, one that showed us that she knew her worth and wasn't afraid to speak her mind. Roy was just holding Pam back from being the person she was always meant to be. I don't get you, Pam. I know. Number 4. Dawson Leary and Joey Potter – Dawson's Creek Joey was right from the very beginning. Everything would change between her and Dawson. They were great as best friends, but they were bad for each other as a couple. Dawson was immature and selfish, and expected everything to just be as simple as it always had been, except with benefits. Meanwhile, Joey had been in love with Dawson for so long that she somehow became lost when she finally got him. I don't even know who I am, let alone, you know, what I want to be and accomplish. I, I guess I... I I need to figure that out. Their first breakup was super emotional and really hard to sit through. But, but how can it be over? We can't just say I love you for the first time and have it be over. After watching them go back and forth a few times though, it was a relief to see the both of them move on at last when Joey and Pacey got together. Dawson. Joey, go. I'm telling you before I take it all back, all right? Just go. Go. Number 3. Dean Forrester and Rory Gilmore – Gilmore Girls Dean started out as a dream boyfriend. Unfortunately, he gradually became jealous and possessive in a way that was hard to ignore. I thought we were getting together tonight. We are. Well, then I should really get my philosophy homework out of the way. Do it at the game. My homework? Yeah. But if I'm doing my homework, doesn't that defeat the point of going to see you play? You can't glance up in between nihilistic theories? I can, but what's the point? It wasn't completely unwarranted, but all of his behaviour to try to keep Rory is exactly what ended up pushing her away. All in all, it was pretty obvious that they weren't endgame. If you don't like it, then just ignore me and pay attention to your boyfriend. Sorry, she can't. 
I'm not her boyfriend anymore. What? You know, I tried to ignore this. <laughs> I really did. But I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It was good while it lasted, but ultimately, it was for the best that things ended while they could still preserve their friendship. While we're talking about Gilmore Girls, we have to throw in a shout out for Lorelai and Christopher. You're the man I want to want. I know. You have no idea how badly I wish. I do. Who thought that was a good idea? Number two, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen, Game of Thrones. Many of the breakups on this list were pretty dramatic, but none of them hold a candle to this one. You are my queen. Now and always. Jon and Danny initially come together as allies to fight against a common enemy before they developed a romantic relationship. Little did they know they were actually related by blood. We'd say that's a pretty good reason to break things off, but although it deterred John, it's not actually the thing that ended them. Sometimes duty is the death of love. It was more like irreconcilable differences. Whether you've watched the whole show or not, you've probably heard about Daenerys' conquest by way of dragon and John's disagreement with her tactics. We can't hide behind small mercies. The world we need won't be built by men loyal to the world we have. The world we need is a world of mercy, it has to be. Which he resolves in resolute fashion. However you feel about the finale, we can all agree that murder is a pretty definitive way to end a relationship. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. The Joker and Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, adding insult to injury. What? You gonna kill me now? No, I want you alive so I can see the look on your face when I'm running this town. Marco and Cora, the legend of Cora, double breakup. I think we both know that this, us, doesn't work. You're right. It's over, for real this time. Harvey Specter and his therapist, Suits, setting things right. I'm sorry, Paula. I wanted this to work more than you know, but, but I can't give you what you need. Seely Booth and Hannah Burley, Bones, make way for Bones. I'm just not the marrying kind. You already said that. I've said it plenty of times before. I guess you weren't listening. Clark Kent and Lana Lang, Smallville, expected but still sad. I don't know any other way to say it. The truth is, my feelings for you have changed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Joey Tribbiani and Rachel Green, friends. Even the actors on the show thought this relationship was just wrong. Like me? Okay, let's not make a big thing about this. It's a huge thing. Okay, okay, not working with me, Joe. <laughs> it's not like Ross owned Rachel or anything, but everyone knew it was supposed to be them together in the end. The whole thing between Joey and Rachel was just yet another wrench to throw into the gears to keep Ross and Rachel apart. Except this one wasn't as funny as the whole 18 pages debacle. It so does not! <laughs> Joey and Rachel were always amazing as friends, but in a relationship they were an odd pairing. What is the matter with us? Well, I know what's the matter with me. No, no I mean with us, you know? I mean, is it supposed to be this... difficult? Thankfully, things didn't last too long between them, and they restored their platonic status before any irreparable damage was done to the friend group. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.